Welcome back to the Hermitcraft map. If you are new here, I have previously done a couple videos on this map. You can see right over here, I finished the Big Eye Cruise shopping district, and I also finished the back of Grian's base, including the inside of Griengotts. So if you haven't seen those videos, they will be linked below. Go check them out. And if you do enjoy the video, Please go like and subscribe and share and comment and let me know your thoughts, all those good things. But today, we are going to be working in here. Fifi's Cave. This is one of the coolest things, not only on the Hermitcraft server, but that I have ever seen in Minecraft. This is incredible. And <laughs> as has been the case with most of the stuff I've done in this world, I have never made anything like this before. So I have quite a few ideas for what to do here. And I'm not gonna tell them to you. I'm just gonna let you see. I've spent a little while poking around here, looking at the terraforming and how Tango has done it and all the blocks used, how these stalactites and stalagmites were made, and then all the blocks that went into Fifi. And I think I have a pretty good idea of this. So again, not gonna tell you everything that I plan to do, but there will be some more things like this. There will be obviously all the ground covering, the stalactites and stalagmites, and a few other things that I just thought could be really cool additions to the cavern. This is probably going to be the most massive project that I will have done on this map. So if you're watching this and you were previously subscribed to me, thank you for your patience. <laughs> this will have taken a while, even in creative. I cannot imagine how long it would have taken to complete all of this in survival. But without any further ado, Let's begin.
here it is. Fifi's Cave, part one of two. So, if you are not subscribed, if you do not follow my community tab, I asked if because of the absolute scale of this project, people would like it in one part or two. And it was very, very close, but people decided two parts. Just by a small margin, that was the majority. So that is what's going to happen. This was a beast of a project. It took an enormous amount of time. And a lot of the stuff that I did, I did off camera because it's very difficult to time lapse. Um, there's a few time lapses in here where I'm detailing all of the, the stuff here around the lava because I went through and just put down a bunch of basalt. And then I went back and added in all these other blocks and stuff, which took a long, long time. Uh, a lot of those time lapses are sped up quite a lot. And then outside of the time lapses, I also went around the entire the roof area of this cavern and replaced all of the dirt with stone because I did not like the way that the dirt looked. So that also took a really, really long time, hours of work. So I will show you a few of these things that I have added in a little more detail. And then I will explain to you my plans for part two. First of all, these geodes. I really wanted to lean into all the new blocks in this uh, cavern because there's, you know, a bunch of the new deep slate stuff that was in here. And then there's also these new dripstone things here. And I wanted to continue that. So there's a bunch of the new types of blocks in here. And then there's little bits of light peeking out of it, which I thought looked really cool. Yeah, so there's there's four of these in the cavern and they all look a little bit different and then there's a bunch of different types of lava pools there's some that are a lot smaller there's some bigger ones there's one that are a little more waterfall lava fall e there's a couple that are a little more uh like small lake like like this one over here and then i also right here use some of these dripstone blocks to make little steam vents because I figured, you know, this is a very volcanic looking thing. And if there's lava coming up out of the ground, then there's probably a bunch of steam being released too. So these are like, you know, steam vent tube things poking out of the ground. And then of course there's this enormous pathway, which maybe Fifi could get through when Fifi was a, a young Fifi, but not anymore. So. There is a lot left that I still want to add, namely back here, because clearly this stuff is still just basalt and it is not detailed the way that any of the rest of the cavern is. That is because there are a few things that I would like to do here and I will detail the rest of this around said things, but I want to add a few things here that are not just more naturalistic stuff like this. I don't want it to just be more lava and amethyst and stuff. There might be a couple more little things like that back here fitted around what I add in, but the centerpiece is going to be something living. I wanted to do something, another organic thing like Fifi back here. So that is what will be here. I'm not going to tell you what it will be, but it's a pretty cool idea. And then of course, I'm going to come back through and add in more skeletal remains like this of things that Fifi has consumed. This did take a while between videos to make. The next one will also take a while to make, similar to this one. However, there won't be as big of a gap between um, the interim videos. Because if you don't know, I also make videos on other things. Like uh, I have my own server that I play on, kind of like Hermitcraft called Nearcraft. So there will be videos on that and a couple other things that I'm working on. But in the meantime, let me know your thoughts about Fifi's cave and maybe your ideas of what could go in here in part two, because as of the time that this video is released, part two has not even begun. <laughs> there is still a tremendous amount of work left to be done, and that means that if you suggest something, it might just end up in here. To answer some other questions, there will be a world download when I decide I'm done with everything. 
that is the conclusion I've reached based on the comments that have been left. So if you want to be able to download this stuff, including Fifi's Cave and the Big Eye Crew and Green Gots and whatever else I do here in the future, then stick around. But before we go, let's have one last fly through of Fifi's Cave.